I'm up here in Ben hiking with Franziska from Hike Oregon and we're having a great time. I don't want to pay for a campsite so I decided to car camp. I am staying just down the road from her Airbnb. And I just get to enjoy the sun setting over the park right now. It's actually not as dark as it looks like. What I'm going to share with you guys today is a couple of weekends ago, um, my last hike with Francisco, we were testing our backpacking equipment out. She was trying out a new pack, and I took my pack along too to just kind of get the some of the gear dialed in for our PCT hike. And I was cooking lunch with my stove, and I burned a hole in my puffy coat. So what happened is um, I was cooking my my water getting it to boil so I can put in my rice ramen and as it was boiling it was just a little bit un unlevel so it boiled up and the pot tipped over and I reached out to grab it real quick and burned a hole in my puffy coat. I actually did a field um, <laughs> repair on it with a large band-aid and it actually worked really well but now it's time to put some gear tape on. That is the sleeve of my Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer. You can see right here the little um, feathers are starting to come out. Little tiniest bit. So I'm going to fix this. So I'm going to use this repair tape by Gear Air. Gear Aid. <laughs> gear aid. The directions say you're supposed to clean the area first, I believe. Apply it to a clean area. Thank God I didn't get my coat dirty today or it would be a problem. Um, clean and dry surface, cut pouch, round corners, remove backing, and then apply with the pressure from center out and then store it in a bag. That is the size of the hole that I burned in the puffy. I've just got all the down sort of tamped back in there. I'm going to put the patch on. I've cut this patch with, <laughs> I had this multi-tool in my car, so I used the little scissor part of the multi-tool to, um, to cut the patch. And now I'm going to use it to round the corners and plop it on there. So I've put the patch on there and I've pressed it down really good. There is a, still a little gap right there. So I'm going to have to cut another small patch and put it right here. I will probably end up sending this jacket in to Columbia. They said I could send it in and they would fix it for like 30 bucks and I'd have to pay shipping. So um, I got this jacket on sale so I'm not really sure I want to invest a lot of more money in to it. but. I'm going to give this patch a go and we'll see how it turns out. So you can see it's stuck down really good to the jacket. It, and it was a big burn, so this is a, quite a big patch. And then I put this other little piece over there. It's not a pretty patch, but you know the hole was quite large. You could see it. And I think this will suffice for the rest of the hiking that I need to do this season. I did contact um, Mountain Hardware. I sent them an email. And they did email me back. Their recommendation was either the gear tape like I did or I could send it into them and they would charge $30 to repair uh, the hole. So I decided just to do it myself at first. I didn't want to spend another $30 and then not have my jacket for a while because I take it hiking with me no matter what the temperatures are. That was my infield repair of my mountain hardware, Ghost Whisperer. I hope you got some value out of this. I would like to know if you guys have done any infield repairs on your puffy coats or your down bag and let me know how it went. So comment below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!